our second case for today is the situation when we still have two paired samples uh, but for some reasons we cannot assume um, their distribution to be normal. Uh, this is also a typical case uh, and so the main reason for the distribution of what we are observing being not normal uh, are outliers. So what is an outlier? This is also a, a conventional term. They usually say so. Uh, we have an observational outliers. These outliers means big um, unpredictable errors. So for example, not a, not a standard small error uh, that happens when you, you are measuring something with a measuring tool, but a really big one, like for example, when a decimal point is forgotten. So you measured, uh, let's say you measured heights of random people and someone's height is 173.5 centimeters. And this decimal point is forgotten, is dropped, uh, just to, accidentally. And so after this, you get 171, not 171.5, but uh, 1715 centimeters. So after this, because of this error, the height of someone, uh, of those uh, who were measured, uh, so it turns to be just uh, 17 meters. And so this is a, a typical example of, of an outlier. And so uh, when you have these uh, bad observations, observations with uh, some uh, proportion of outliers, of big errors, then uh, distribution is not normal. So even, uh, so even if the distribution of, of what you are measuring is, uh, how to say, normally normal, so if it is uh, normal in, in standard situations, uh, so when, if there are outliers, then uh, the normality of this distribution is spoiled. So <clears throat> what can we do in this situation? So if uh, we want to test this same hypothesis, but for the situation when the distribution is not normal. Uh, the Wilcoxon signed rank test is used for this situation. Here we also, the first step is also to calculate the differences between x's and y's, so di is still the difference. And then we calculate uh, modulus, absolute values of d's, absolute value of differences, and then the, the sample V1, Vn, where Vi is the absolute value of Di, this sample is ranked. So what is ranking? Ranking means that the sample is sorted in ascending order and numbered. So from the least element to the greatest one, uh, so the, the, and these numbers are, are called ranks. So the least element gets rank 1, the, then the second least element gets rank 2, and so on. And the greatest one gets rank n. And zeros are excluded from this ranking. So we are ranking only uh, differences that are not equal to zero. So then uh, there is an indicator ii. So this is capital I with its index equal to small i. So ii is the sign of uh, ith difference. So if ii is equal to 1, then that means that mm, di is uh, positive. If ii is equal to minus 1, then di is negative. And so then we calculate the statistic w. So this w is ii times rank of vi. And so this, the sum of these uh, <coughs> uh, products. So the rank of vi is multiplied by the sign of the respective di, by 1 or minus 1. 
So, and then uh, it can be proved that this statistic W is asymptotically normal and to make it not just normal but standard normal we are to normalize it to uh, standardize it uh, so this can be done when we divide uh, W by the square root of its variance actually also the standard step is to subtract the expected value so we, usually when we want to standardize a random variable we subtract expected value and then divide by the square root of variance but here expected value is zero so that is why uh, it is enough just to divide by the variance and so uh, standardized uh, random variable w is used as a test statistic here so w tilde is the test statistic of this test it is equal to w divided by the square root of its variance uh, the formula for the variance is provided and so it can be proved that when a sample size is big enough we can say that under null hypothesis the distribution of uh, w tilde is standard normal so as uh, we have standard normal distribution uh, so then we have the standard situation with critical and acceptance regions and the standard situation with the p-value. So the p-value can be found using the phi function, using the standard normal CDF. So let us solve the same example uh, without this additional uh, assumption that uh, our samples follow normal distribution. So the, the example is the same. So these are times in seconds of nine uh, 100 meter runners before and after completing a training program. And so the question is, this is the same. So is this program effective in reducing uh, average time? So if we, so, and we say that we are going to test, so the same pair of hypotheses that mu x is equal to mu y against an alternative that mu x is more than mu y but uh, without an assumption on the normality so uh, we are going to use the Wilcoxon uh, signed ring um, test so the, f the first step is the same as in a student's test to, to find um, uh, differences. So differences are 0 0.2 minus uh, 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.3, 0 uh, minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.3, 0 0.3, minus 0 0.1. So these are the differences. Then we are to find their absolute values. So the same but without minuses. So 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.1. Then we are to rank these Vs and zeros are excluded so this uh, v uh, that is equal to zero is excluded from ranking so uh, to rank means to enumerate from the least one to the greatest one and we see that there are um, equal values here so how uh, how we are to rank them so we see that the least ones are 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 so there are two equal values so if they were different if they were different, their ranks would be 1 and 2. And as they are equal, so they will share this, this rank. So the rank will be uh, 1.5 for both. 1.5 between 1 and 2, as they share the first and the second places. So then, 0 0.2, also we see this value twice. So uh, if they were different, they would, their runs would be uh, 3 and 4, as 1 and 2 is shared between these two uh, values. So their ranks would be uh, 3 and 4, so they get 
3.5 and 3.5. Then uh, 0 0.3, 1, 2, 3 times, 3 times. Uh, so if they were different, their ranks would be 5, 6 and 7. So that is why the average is 6. Average between uh, 5, 6 and 7 is 6. So they all got rank 6. six. And finally, this one, its rank is 8. As uh, so places 5, 6 and 7 are already busy. And so its rank is 8. And this observation is not ranked as it is equal to zero and we are ranking only positive ones so then signs so signs so so this is these numbers are ranks then signs so plus minus plus plus no sign minus minus plus Minus. And then we are to find W. W is so when we multiply rank by the sign and add them. So we are adding ranks multiplied by the respective signs. So this is 3.5 uh, minus 8 plus. 3.5 plus 6 minus 1.5 minus 6 plus 6 minus 1.5 so each ring uh, takes the sign the respective sign and so if we add all these numbers, we'll get that W is minus 5. So then, then we are to find variance. Variance of W uh, according to the formula. So the variance is 1 over NR. NR is number of... Um, uh, number of differences that are not equal to zero so 1 over 8 times 8 plus 1 times 2 times 8 plus 1 and so this is equal to 204 and then normalized W W tilde is W minus 5 divided by square root of the variance of 204. And this is approximately equal to minus 0 0.35. Okay. And so then we say that under, under null hypothesis, W tilde follows standard normal distribution and so we are to, so we can uh, construct the uh, acceptance and critical regions. So greater sign, then we have uh, right-tailed critical region. Let's uh, uh, so let's use the standard alpha 0 0.05 as we always usually do. So then this is the quantile of the standard normal distribution of the level 0 0.95. This quantile is equal so 0 0.95 is 1 minus alpha. So this quantile is equal to 1.65. So I can see this, I can find this value in the table. And 
So W tilde is equal to minus 0 0.35. So the same, almost the same result. I see that uh, uh, the test statistic is in acceptance region. So W tilde belongs to the acceptance region. So that means that HO is accepted. So the same result as it was uh, when we used the student's t-test to solve this problem.